Hi, my name is Garai Birdie. I'm a chartered professional accountant located in the GTA of Ontario, Canada, who has worked with many international tax clients over the years. In today's video, I'm going to outline the common situations where if you're a non-resident of Canada, you can get in touch with me to obtain the proper tax advice and preparation. I'm going to walk you through all the common international tax situations I face in my practice. As a non-resident owning real estate property in Canada, you are required to file a Section 216 income tax return for all rental income earned and both a NR4 and NR6 slip to minimize your withholding taxes. Non-residents who sell property in Canada need to do two important things. One, prior to the final closing of the property, you need to file a Section 116 clearance certificate to minimize your withholding taxes. This can make a very significant difference in your cash flow from the sale of the property. Two, file the annual Section 116 tax return for the year of disposition. If you're planning to expand a business into Canada, it is important to choose the correct entity structure and make sure the right registration process is followed accordingly. A tax accountant needs to analyze your situation to ensure you use the correct tax rates. When you plan to break ties with Canada and depart, you need to plan in advance to make sure you do not unnecessarily pay too much departure tax due to the disposition of assets. You must consult with a tax accountant who will analyze the assets you own and the tax consequences for each. When immigrating into Canada, you're known as a part year resident, which can create a confusion of what to report on your first personal income tax return. You also want to avoid double taxation and ensure you understand the tax rules for any assets you will still own outside of Canada. Many clients ask me if based on their situation they can become a non-resident or if they are a resident for tax purposes in Canada. This requires a tax accountant to carefully review your situation and provide an opinion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you find yourself in any of these tax situations, I encourage you to get in touch with me. I would also encourage you to visit our website at birdie.ca where you can schedule a free consultation to discuss your situation with me. You can leave us a question on our tax forum, or read our blogs for more tax tips. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe for more tax tip videos that are on the way. Thank you for watching.